Hey, what's up guys? Today I have a mini pocket projector. Super excited. This is by a company called Ape Man. If you're familiar with them, they make these awesome car dash cams. I have a lot of them in some of my cars at home as well. This one is the successor to the M4. It's called the M4S. It fits in your pocket. It's easy to take anywhere. It can give you a home cinematic experience of up to 100 inches in such a tiny size. Let's go ahead, open it up, see what's in there. And let's just set it up on the wall behind me and let's take a look at how it performs. So you have some welcome cards at the top here is the projector. This is 10.5 centimeters by 10.5 centimeters as a square. Look at the design on that. Very shiny, glossy black. I really like how compact it is and this only weighs 270 grams. More on that in a second. You also have yourself the user manual and there's a big box of accessories. Let's see what else is in here. So you have yourself the USB-C charging cable. It has a inbuilt 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which can give you roughly around two hours of usage, which is not too bad. You have yourself a mini tripod to mount this on. It is plastic, it's not heavy duty metallic. You also have a HDMI to HDMI cable. And then finally, you have yourself the USB plug if you wanted to connect this directly to the power outlet. So that's everything in the box. Let's take a look at more on the projector. Right, so let's take a look at the sides of the projector. At the back, you have your USB-C power input there to power the device. You have a HDMI import. You will probably need to connect the HDMI cable for any devices that you connect to this. You have the USB port there, which says five volt out. What that means is this doubles up as a power bank so you can reverse charge any of your other devices. So if you have a phone nearby, you can use this as a power bank to charge your phone, which is great. Then you also have a headphone jack in case you wanna to listen to whatever you're watching through your headphones. So on the right hand side of the device, you have yourself the power on button to turn it on. You just hold it down for a few seconds. Then you have the manual focus buttons for the actual screen. So minus and plus to adjust the focus on the projection. And at the front, you have yourself the lens there for the projector and a cooling fan. At the bottom, you have a very tiny kickstand in case you just wanted to place this onto the table or your desk. Or you have a quarter inch screw there as well if you want to mount this on a tripod for more flexibility in elevation. So I'm going to use this on a tripod. I think I'll be able to position it more reasonably than having it almost flat on a desk. So let me just turn this on so you guys can see. Just hold it down for a few seconds. You see there's some LED lights that turn on. So you can see it's now turned on. Just to cover what's on the front of this. So you have the central button there, the circle. This basically switches between the different modes, the light mode, the eco mode, standard mode, etc. On the left and the right is the minus and the plus. These are the volume controls. And at the top and the bottom, you have yourself the keystone controls to elevate the actual projection into the right angle for your viewing experience. So that covers everything on that front. Let's go ahead, mount this on my tripod, set it up on the wall behind me, and let's take a look at setting this up with my laptop. One other thing to point out, guys, I've just got it set up but you don't have to plug in the USB-C power to power the device. It works on its own on its internal battery. So that is absolutely great. If you do plug it in, you can obviously get as long of a usage time as you like, but it's up to two hours without anything plugged in. And then I'll do the focus. It gives you a cross air that you just need to make sure is very sharp. There we go, once you let go, you're ready to connect this to your devices. So I'm gonna connect my laptop via HDMI into the port here. There we have it. Now I'm going to turn the lights off so you guys can see the clarity in the actual picture. So this is currently being projected at around 75 inches, which they say is pretty much optimal between 50 to 80, so I think that's great. So let me go ahead and turn the lights off, play a video. So my audio will be coming from my MacBook rather than from the projector. But let's go ahead and showcase how it looks. I 
I'm just pausing it there. One thing I wanted to let you guys know about is the fact that I've chosen this video which is very dark. It was shot at night time. So if you are in a room where there's a little bit of light that still comes in and you can't see the deep blacks and the mid-tones are not in its correct position, then you can adjust the lightness. If I go into the settings by tapping the top of the screen on the projector, then I can go into the different modes in the middle button. So you have eco, the lightness, standard. So these are the ones you can switch between and it adjusts the brightness of the video accordingly depending on which mode you want to watch it at and that could give you a different viewing experience. So I've put it down which I feel like it's a little bit clearer to see a lot of the darker parts of the video. If you see this makes it brighter and this is the standard. Eco it increases the contrast a little bit so I'll play it on that just to see if it's better. So just pausing it there, now I can see it does a very good job, but comparing it to the video that you guys are seeing on the screen, I think it's a little bit more clearer in real life. But overall, I'm very impressed with the size of the actual projector, the quality of the image that it can portray onto the wall. Now if I did move this very closely to the wall, you'll notice that there'll be a lot clearer image. So let me show you guys an example of me doing that. So I'll just take the projector and you'll see the closer you get, the more sharper the image will be. Again, it's up to you, it is a pocket one, but the great thing about this is that not only can you use this indoors, but you can also take this outdoors with you because of the flexibility of just putting it in your backpack or even in your pocket, you can just take it with you. And it's so easy to have and portray different things for not just watching uh, TV shows, movies or anything like that. You can also use it for work. So if you're taking this with meetings, then you can just connect your laptop and bring up presentations and play PowerPoint slides or anything like that. And it's very convenient to do so. So overall, in terms of the price you pay, I think it's a very convenient thing to have. You can get larger ones, which are made specifically for watching movies as home cinema projectors around the same price range. But what you're paying for is the portability of this and the fact that you can power this without any external power source. It's pretty much a complementary thing to your phone as well. The last test I want to do is connect this to my iPhone 12 Pro using the HDMI port. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be connecting this to my iPhone 12 Pro. I'm using a HDMI adapter, just plug it in. I've got the HDMI connected to the projector. If you give it a second, there you go. It's now mirroring on the projector at the back. As you can see, it's working in real time, which I think is great. So even if you just have your phone and the projector, you can take this with you and showcase this to your friends and it just becomes so much easier. So even if you have work related items on your phone, then you can just use the projector as a complementary thing to showcase on a wall anywhere that you can find your presentations, your work documents, your files, and there's so many different usability options that you can have for it. So I can use this for things like Netflix, I can watch YouTube videos, so if I go back to YouTube and it should change the orientation to landscape, so if I go to my videos. So when you go into full screen, it'll flip the video horizontally and you'll see everything and again the quality is great. There's also inbuilt speakers as well so you can output the sound, especially if you connect it to your phone from the inbuilt speakers of the projector which is great. So it's obviously not the most punchiest, loudest, you know, has a bass boosting sound. So you can connect external speakers via the auxiliary cables, maybe get a Bluetooth speaker and just connect that via the cable directly into the headphone jack of the projector. Or just put your own headphones in and listen to it directly. So there's so many different options, but it's actually pretty loud. So if I play this video again from my phone, but then put it to the max volume, you guys can see how loud it is. Probably too drunk, blurry 
but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't. And I should let it be. So that's it guys, I hope you found this useful. This comes in at £220 on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below where you can check it out. If you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, if you really like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe. I've got tons of really cool gadget videos like this coming out very soon. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.